Episode 36 Those Who Love Jesus If you love me, you will obey my commandments. I will ask the Father and he will give you another helper who will stay with you forever. He is the Spirit who reveals the truth about God. The world cannot receive him because it cannot see him or know him. But you know him because he remains with you and is in you. When I go, you will not be left all alone. I will come back to you. In a little while, the world will see me no more. But you will see me. And because I live, you also will live. When that day comes, you will know that I am in my Father and that you are in me, just as I am in you. Those who accept my commandments and obey them are the ones who love me. My Father will love those who love me. I too will love them and reveal myself to them. Judas, not Judas Iscariot, said, Lord, how can it be that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Those who love me will obey my teaching. My Father will love them, and my Father and I will come to them and live with them. Those who do not love me do not obey my teaching. And the teaching you have heard is not mine, but comes from the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am still with you. The help of the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and make you remember all that I have told you. Peace is what I leave with you. It is my own peace that I give you. I do not give it as the world does. Do not be worried and upset. Do not be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am leaving, but I will come back to you. If you loved me, you would be glad that I am going to the Father, for he is greater than I. I have told you this now, before it all happens, so that when it does happen, you will believe. I cannot talk with you much longer, because the ruler of this world is coming. He has no power over me, but the world must know that I love the Father, and that is why I do everything as he commands me. Come, let us go from this place. What is the evidence that I love Jesus? What do I learn about the Holy Spirit? Why are Jesus' words about peace important to me today? What does it mean to me to remain in Jesus?